Hey everybody, I'm Ryan, and this month's episode of Cabinets and Cocktails, I'll be playing Tapper with Bob, and we'll be learning how to make a really great citrusy grapefruit drink that is going to be wonderful for these lingering days of summer. So, let's jump in. Hey everybody, so this month we'll be playing Tapper, which is a pretty fun game where you get to be a bartender trying to sling drinks for everybody. So it's fun for me and work for you. So, yeah. all right, <laughs> uh, let's get started then. All right. Okay. Do I get the. Oh, okay. Well, so you can. Once you clear. Well, you can run down and get the tips, but. You don't have to. All right, all right. It seems like you definitely should do. Although I will say, I am very disappointed by how few people tipped the bartender. The service industry folks. It's weird, huh? You need to tip. <laughs> uh, and if anybody in Europe is watching, then never mind. <laughs> cool. But notice the tips are always so far away. And somebody else always needs something to drink. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, so I can just try to, like... Oh, so if you throw... Oh, I can't do that. You can't just try to preload all your drinks. Well, you can, but... <clears throat> it's easier behind that bar for me. Have you ever had somebody do that, to try to do that to you? Maybe. To get to throw you down the bar? I used to work downtown for 12 years, and we'll just leave it at that. Oh, okay, you just let go of it to serve. So once you get a rhythm, it's much easier. Okay. Just like real life. Perfect. Right. That was easy. All right. Oh, what? I love that it's a branded game. It's oh, I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> Crap. It's like back in college days. It's called the Beer Hunter. Yeah, that didn't work at all. All right. I like that it shows you. Great. So it'll <laughs> little insult to injury. Ooh. All right. I don't. Can we? All right. Well, I'm dead. Or dead. But at least there's cup holders built into the game. <laughs> Oops. All right. So, well, I guess. Very difficult. I guess we just have a short episode this month because uh, we're not very good at that. Um, well, you got your initials. Oh, hey, look, I got initials and apparently the high score is 6,925. So uh, I'll type my stuff in. So do you think anybody can beat it? I don't I don't think anybody can do better than what we just did. I, this game is I, impossible. I, I, well, I do this for a living. I can't even serve a beer. So I mean, if there's anybody out there that thinks they can beat 6,925, good luck. All right, so I get... Oh, hey, Jack. What's up? Um, do you want to give it a shot? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Uh, good luck at beating 6,925. Yeah, All right, uh, so Jack is one of the amazing bartenders here at Pixels, and let's see... Um, let's see how... Oh, wait, here, switch me spots. Yeah, you're good there. Let's see how... Uh, we playing both. This one goes, yeah, 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 hit uh, hit two players, but you can start us off. Cool. I'm sure I will be up right away. This game is ridiculous. Uh, you got to <laughs> Okay, all right, okay. Okay, um, apparently there's a lot more strategy to this than what it was that I expected. Yeah, so you got 
two different ways you can play the game. You can either uh, it play it really well and play it really badly. <laughs> All right, we figured that one out. <laughs> but there's kind of a strategy to the game. There's you can either go for nice. levels like I do. So I'm trying to go through the level as quick as possible, serve everybody as quick as possible, or you can just sit there and try to build points as you go. So I guess if you stay on a level longer, you can earn more points. Correct. But the higher level you get, like serving people is worth more? Yeah, because once you get to other levels, each character starts giving you more points. Okay. Stuff like that. I have never made it past the first round of the stadium, so this will be this will be interesting to watch. Yeah, so we're at the stadium right now. You got three you do three levels for each different stage, minus the very first one. The first one has two. And as you go along they start adding more customers okay. and stuff like that. And you just got to keep rolling with it. I do think Ooh. it's kind of an interesting, like, it's cool that it's branded, right? Um, but, like, so I know that Bob has talked about the fact that he had one of these growing up uh, in the local arcade, but it was just a root beer game. Right, so there's actually three versions of this game. You got the root beer one for the kids and stuff like that. But this is a Japanese game, so Sipatro, I'm pretty sure, is the name of it. Okay. They're a distillery in Japan. They make really nice Japanese whiskey and all that, huh. but apparently they also make beer, which I didn't know, and all of that. So now we're at the Punk Rock Bar. Oh, and the... And, the, and now it's topsy-turvy. You're going both ways. I have never seen this. This is awesome. So this is the CBGB. Essentially. <laughs> So dropping a mug, uh, not serving a customer, or throwing a mug that no one can catch are the three ways that you, you lose the level. You can't overserve and all of that. You can't let the mugs drop, and you can't have them come to the end and stuff like that. So you got to try to keep track of all the bars at once, which can get start tricky once you start getting to the heavier levels. Yeah. Although you know who's really good at keeping track of all of the bars? The staff here at Pixels, because there is the bar upstairs and down, so there's never a wait. You like that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but sometimes you got to sit there and just grab the glasses so you don't lose everything, because it can get crazy. And there are the tips there on the stage that you can grab, but with my strategy, I don't go for them, because it's not really worth the 1,200 points that you get. Oh, so it's a decent amount. Yeah, you but... get a whole, it's the highest points you can get on the game and all that. You do get the cheerleaders that pop up on the top of the screen and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it will stop some of the players and turn them around because they get distracted by the cheerleaders. Oh, okay. But you can't... So there's a little strategy to yeah. go in for them, but yeah. it takes you so long to run for them. Right. And this whole cabinet is shaking. Oh, what? But if you get to 20,000, like, I'm at 30,000 now. Oh, it's your turn. Oh, oh, you get oh. an extra life. Oh, okay, great. All right, let's see if I can try to learn. Oh, I have to, well, never mind. <laughs> I was trying to go as fast as you, but I wasn't actually filling my, pre my drinks. So is this one of the games that you love to just play like while you're while you're on break or coming in on your day and days you're not working? Definitely. It's probably my favorite game in the whole bar. And I will come on my day off, come while I about to take a break, or even I'll run up on customers while they're playing who've <laughs> never played it and kinda you know, like table shark them, like you're playing pool in a way. <laughs> I've done it to a couple of my friends and stuff like that who are really into the game. And we've just like all debated on strategy and stuff like that to the game. Well, and that's a part of like, I love the, I don't think it's just nostalgia factor, but it's almost like talking to people on the playground about like, how do you beat this level? Right. That happens plenty. 
Also, like the fact that taped to the side of this, it says like Pixels Interview Qualifier or yep. something. That's cute. Uh, so you're on. So there's 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 thirteen levels. Thirteen different like bars. Yeah. Okay. And then there's three each. So that's what? That's thirty. Oh. Some odd. Dang. It's because I'm talking to you. <laughs> that's my strategy. Uh, all right. So there's thirteen different places. Uh, how far have you made it? I have gotten to the thirteenth bar, which is not easy okay. at all. Uh, but that's because you're at the space bar, which gets real weird. The space bar? Yeah, so the space oh, bar, wow. you're gonna have aliens. No, no. Ah. You're gonna have aliens up there. You're gonna be in space. It's a little trippy looking. It's, it's a little intense. Uh, what is your favorite level? Definitely a space bar. Okay. That's also where you start picking up a lot of points. This is your last for this bar. I got one more before is there I go to the space uh, bar. Good. Level 10 is when you get to the space bar. All right. And this is uh, this is much. You are much better than I was prepared for anyone to be able to be at this game. Like, I'm out of most of my trivia for the game. <laughs> I like all the different folks that are in this. Like, yeah. the, the character art for everything. Ah. All right, there we go. I'm learning. I'm learning from you on how to do this a little bit better. All right. I guess I'm looking for that one. I think it's this one. I was wrong. I think it's that one. Was it? Yep, man, you got it. All right, stadium. Okay, all right. Learning a little bit. You have 10 times my score, but that's all right. Oh, I messed it up. No. Oh no! I got too. I got too cocky with it. <laughs> the sort of theme of it is really Ooh. cool. All right. Those glasses were getting fast. Oh no! Alright, I didn't oh, get to the space gosh. bar. Which but was still, the next one? 53,875. Because there is no way I'm going to come anywhere near your score on this one. That's pathetic. The fact that my tiny little. Yeah, we're just going to do. We're just going to do that. Alrighty. Well, Jack, thanks for popping by. Yeah. I'm glad that you were like. Um, I don't know how to handle I don't, it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm glad that you were <laughs> here for setups. Uh, we are going to hop over and learn how to make a pretty fantastic drink to go with a really fantastic game. And if you think you can come anywhere near Jack's score, I would love to see you try. Come on in this month and see if you can pull it off. <laughs>
So today we're going to feature the drink called... You know, Bob, I had an idea for a drink that goes perfect with Tapper. Do you mind? Sure. What you got today? It's a beer on tap. Get out. Today's drink is going to be called the Paloma, and it's our tribute to the classic Paloma. We're going to start off with a little local ruby red moonshine whiskey, some fresh mint, some ice, ruby red grapefruit juice. Give that a nice shake. And a pour into our Collins glass. Top with some ginger beer. And garnish with some fresh grapefruit. Today's drink, it's the Baloma. So there you have it, everybody. This month we played Tapper and you learned how to make the Baloma. If you think you can beat 53,875, maybe make it all the way to the space bar, we would love to see you try. Come on out, and if you do, make sure that you're tagging all of us. That is quite the accomplishment. But until next time, I'm Ryan, and this is Cabinets and Cocktails. Anytime you use any kind of spirit and a herb like mint, give it a rip, little clap just to release those oils.